Welcome back, everybody, to the Sam McKee Memorial Broadcast Set. I have a very special guest with me tonight, the owner of Crawford Farms, Michelle Crawford. Michelle, thanks so much for spending some time with us tonight. Well, thanks for having me. You know, uh, you're a big uh, player when it comes to owning horses and certainly breeding and uh, uh, having horses on your farm. Let's start with, uh, you have your farm in New York and you have another in Kentucky. So why is New Jersey sire stakes racing so important to you and your business? Well, I think it's important to all breeders and everybody in our business. And I think that when you're looking at how many shares we have of Tactical Landing or Acuri D, you want to see the program thrive. And I know that they've allocated and we were approved through 2029 right. um, the funding. So you have overnight racing and you have the sire stakes racing and you like the Breeders Fund and the Breeders Awards. So it's, it's very important to our sport. And we love racing at the Meadowlands. Obviously, we're a big sponsor of the Meadowlands. Of so course. Al and I always like to be here and support everything you know it's not out of the question for a breeding farm operator like yourself to have a pair of sires in-house who've won big stakes but you you have a pair of brood mares who were hamiltonian <laughs> champions atlanta and ramona hill how did you pull this off i have no clue <laughs> well i'm going to say that we bred ramona hill <laughs> right we were fascinated with Atlanta with her two-year-old campaign, so we were able to buy into her right before our three-year-old campaign. And Ramona at Lockdown Lindy, we owned her, and we bred her, and we ended up with this kind of freak. And I think Tony waited a while to say, hey, I think she's special. And when she showed up, we were very excited to see what she had to offer. Why is a strong New Jersey Sire Stakes program necessary for the overall health of the sport? Well, I think that when you're talking about breeders and people who get into the sport this is a main facility for people to come and watch racing so you're you know you have the, the you're looking for everyone to succeed you want to see the the overnight races succeed you want to see the, the sire stakes obviously car well okay so then there's carl and then there's six sour for us so we bred a few that are racing in the jersey sire stakes and we're we're that's what you want you want to have that competitive nature and some fun. All right, now so much more we want to hear from Michelle Crawford. But for now, let's start to Gabe Pruitt with the post parade for the fourth race. More with Michelle Crawford right after this. All right, we're back with Michelle Crawford, and uh, I want to pick up this interview at this point. You're the breeder and part owner of Carl, and obviously we've been talking a lot about Carl. He's racing tonight in the New Jersey Sire Stakes final. He's a presumptive favorite for the Hamiltonian. These must be exciting times. They're unprecedented times. I mean, it's one thing when you buy into something, and it's one thing if you breed it. I mean, honestly, Ramona, breeding a filly that won the Hambo is pretty special, but I think Carl has set himself apart from most horses so far that I've seen, and I really don't like to talk about him all that much because I'm, we're all very superstitious, <laughs> so we don't want to jinx anything. So we'll just let it, him do the talking for himself. Well, that's fine. I mean, and Nancy has nothing but high praise, uh, obviously, uh, for Carl. But earlier tonight, we watched uh, racing from the Meadows, and we saw TCI look pretty darn good in 52-2. and two. I saw that, and we're not taking anything away from TCI. No, the, so. fact, the fact of the matter is, I'm a publicity guy, so I want them to turn for home in the <laughs> Hamiltonian. Inches are part of the top of the Everyone stretch. wants but good competition. But I don't think you want to see that, do you? Well, no, I, I think good competition is great for the sport. People cheer for it. People love it. And that's what drives your audience. So I think that's definitely a good thing. Let's get back to some uh, a great mare that you have. You own Avalicious. You bred the Tactical Landing in New Jersey and got Carl. How do you decide who to breed your mares to? Well, we've decided Al is the analytical person. That's what he does for a living. He's very good at it. He is, um, he's on it. Five or six years ago, or maybe seven years ago, we started to look at the crosses, and he's like, let me do a deep dive into this. It's his passion. He does it for his day job. Like He like hits finance central, so he really is very good at looking and taking the five-generation pedigree and figuring out what works and what hasn't worked historically. Speaking of Avalicious, I hear there's a tie-in with your daughter. She was the inspiration for the mayor's name? Well, we have named, I think before my time, Al had horses named after his kids, and so it was my turn. We have like 17 horses named after Max, but we had one Avalicious, and now she's becoming the you know premier broodmare in our broodmare band. So that's kind of exciting for her. You know, before I let you go, I want to talk about Atlanta, Ramona Hill, and Avalicious. 
Are they now in full again? How does that work? So, yep, they are. Well, Atlanta had an unfortunate circumstances okay. this year and lost her full, but she has definitely back in full with a recip mare. We're right. going to have a recip carry for her. Ramona has a beautiful Walner yearling, a beautiful Walner um, weanling, and she is back in full safely to Chapter 7. Right. And Avalicious just had a Father Patrick filly, so we're happy about that. So mm -hmm. why Father Patrick Walner? You well, know, we won't go into that. That yeah. was Michelle saying, let's do tactical landing. I just have a feeling about Carl based on what Jimmy and Nancy were saying about Carl and I don't know that you know Al was a believer at that point but you know he he honestly it, it's all good because we have a Philly and Father Patrick Phillies can be anything yeah so I, I don't really take credit when it comes to the breeding end of it I just let him do that mm -hmm. all right we're down to about 60 seconds until the fifth race goal Michelle Crawford thanks so much for spending a couple thanks of minutes for with having us. us and I'm sure that uh, we'll be talking to you again yeah, good luck, shortly Carl. down the road <laughs> all right Michelle Crawford, thanks so very much. About 40 seconds to go until they come to the gate for the fifth race. After the fifth race replay, Division Two of the Sportscasters Derby once again. Thanks to Michelle Crawford. Up to Gabe Pruitt for the call of the fifth race.